video we're going to look at the bubble sort algorithm and apply it to this question this exam question here so what I've got is an array of numbers and they need to get sorted to so that they appear like this so I've got the smallest is always going to be on the left hand side and the biggest number is on the right and in my question I'm given a big clue as to how it needs to be sorted so it needs to end up that I've got one here and it goes two three four five so they're sorted in order there so I've got these spaces in order to be able to do the bubble sort and I need to fill in the gaps so what I'm going to do is look at something called my first pass so each time I do a sort I make a pass I pass through the numbers so my first pass here so what I do is I look at these two first numbers and um, they're in the correct order so no swap will happen at the moment but I'm going to look at this 5 and compare it with the one there okay so what I'm going to do is write 3 there because that isn't going to move and then um, the 5 and the 1 are going to swap so that, that will become 1 in there and the 5 will keep going down okay so the 5 and the 4 will be compared so 4 will go into there and now I'm looking at the 5 and the 2 they'll be compared so 2 will go in there and 5 will go on the right hand side and that is my first pass now I'm going to make my second pass so looking at the first pass just making the swap 3 and 1 they can swap so 3 can go there. I'm not going to write that in just yet. Um, 3 and 4, they'll stay the same. So now I'm dealing with the 4. 4 and 2, they'll swap. So that will become 2 there. Then 4. Then 5. 5 isn't going to move now. 5 is in the correct position. So is 4 now. That's not going to move. Right. This is my third pass here. So 1 and 3, they're okay, so 1 goes there, 1's now in position, that's not going to move. 3 and 2, they can swap, so that becomes 2. Um, 3 is there, and that will be 4, and that will be 5, and I've managed to do it, I've managed to complete it in 3 passes there. So I haven't needed to use all these, all these um, spaces there, I managed to do it in 1, 2, 3 passes. Okay, so that is a bubble sort. The idea is that you swap the numbers and the biggest number ends up on the right hand side, the smallest number ends up on the left.